So at the time of this recording, it is Wednesday, October 19th, which is the day that I unlocked the community tabs feature. And honestly, I cannot be any happier than what I am right now. <laughs> that was something I've always wanted to get since day one. Actually, even before I started doing YouTube, I always wanted to find a way to communicate you guys, communicate with you guys on upcoming video games that I'll be covering or any updates or just anything that's going on in my life. I wanted to share with you guys, you know, because it's the community tab. That's basically what it's there for. But the only way to get it was to reach, I think, a thousand subs or something like that. So now YouTube just made it available for everybody. Uh, they're slowly rolling it out. So if you haven't gotten it yet, um, you'll, you will eventually. So just know that uh, I got mine today, which is honestly a blessing. You know, I appreciate YouTube for doing something like that because, you know, it's it's one step. It's one step in the right direction, you know, because sometimes they, they, they take L's, sometimes they take some wins. But uh, this is definitely a win for everybody. But yeah, guys, with that being said, I don't think we have too much to go now. I keep saying that, and I swear to God, this is this probably won't be the last video. But seeing as Call of Duty... Actually, I think by the time of this recording, my first... The first video on Call of Duty should be out. But with that being said, I don't want to waste any more time because I want to finish this game up today. I don't want to rush it or anything because I like it. But I know where to go now because last video... I didn't know where to go, but I do now. Alright, so we have to run as fast as possible towards that place. And I don't think we're going to make it, to be honest. If I'm being honest with you guys, I don't think we're going to make it. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, did we make it? Oh. Yo! Hey, what? We do we have a parasite living inside? Of, hold up, bro. This is like aliens. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, I, I obviously I knew what it was, but I didn't know it, it was behind us. I thought it was like a little small creature. Bro, that thing is living inside of inside of us, at least in the back of us. What the hell? <laughs> what? Okay, I did not see that part. Yo, I'm like... Oh, wow. Okay, this is getting me a little bit dizzy. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a little this is a little weird. So we're back to normal then. Oh we have our guts out. Oh no wonder, bro. Jesus dude. We're like ripped open oh my god, hold up. What <laughs> I, I saw the part where we had to go there, but I I didn't even know that this was gonna... Oh my god, bro. Okay, that's uh, that's nasty. Jesus, dude. Well, at least we have our feet intact. What the... Okay, I, so it was a parasite living inside of us. And it's still alive, because we got rid of... So the, the introduction of this entire, like, the menu screen... It's not us. It's that thing living behind us. And I thought it was actually living inside of us. Like it crawled inside. Wow, bro. Like I sort of knew that it was going to be somewhere in the back. And maybe something was going to be like sticking out from the back. But I didn't know like it was completely, you know, in the back. And the fact that we're still alive... uh. I <laughs> I don't know, bro.
Wow, dude. I don't think we're gonna make it. We're gonna pull a Outlast, basically. You know what? I think we are gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't died yet, so... Uh, I, I, I have some hope. I, I honestly have some hope. This place is beautiful, man. To be honest. If it stutters a bit, I do apologize on that. It's because I have something uploading. And uh, the software that I use to upload takes a lot of GPU power. Which will be fixed because I am getting a 3060 Ti. So, fingers crossed on that. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get it. Dude, I am dizzy. Well, I'm not... Hold up, what? I wouldn't say I'm 100% dizzy, but I am sort of dizzy. Or you know what? We weren't supposed to come here. I'm stupid. We were supposed to go back inside, and then go around because the 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 the, the uh, Jesus, I'm stuttering. <laughs> the other area was locked, so we had just we just had to go around and. Put the blood, whatever the thing is, a key, a blood sample, whatever, in the other place. So, back we go. Yeah, this camera movement, bro, I, I'm not feeling it too much. I, I am dizzy. It's weird. It's like distorts the screen or something. Like, it has that effect. Motion sickness, I guess that's kind of what you would call it. And I'm not one to get dizzy, you know, I don't get dizzy easily unless you, you, you know, I spin a lot. But this is, I don't know, man, this is just not it. Uh-oh. To be honest, just put some flexi on it. Is that thing moving? No, it's not. No way. No, it's over there. You know what? I think that thing was moving. I'm not gonna lie. I grow a bit worried now. Trying to make this as smooth as possible for you guys and me. Hey, yo. Hold up.
Yo. Oh, that's us. I am so confused. <laughs> what the way? What was? What? Bro, did they really just show us that? Oh my god, Jesus. You know, I don't think this is, this is probably going to be, oh wow, this is probably going to be taken down eventually. Okay, I can switch, hold up. Just switch, but I don't know what button to switch. Oh. Oh wow, dude. This is probably going to get demonetized in the future, taken down maybe. This has to be the most goriest slash weirdest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And I'm pretty sure we can all agree on this. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just say this now. I mean, it's kind of too late. But if you're a younger viewer, uh, I don't encourage you to watch this. <laughs> For the sake of both of us. Or just at least beware. Oh, wow. I have no idea what is going on. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know what this entire game like references or what the, the symbolic meaning behind this entire game is. But I, I just I don't want to question it. But okay, so I'm guessing we have to place that dude over there. This guy here. The thing that got me like the most shocked was that one scene. We all know we're for noodles. We all know well, <laughs> what I'm talking about. The noodle scene. Jesus, bro. Okay, so this is not like it. This is more like a in-game cutscene, but you can like still maneuver though. At least you can walk forward, because it doesn't walk you forward automatically. You have to move. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Besides, uh, honestly, I'm I'm speechless. This has to be probably one of the most goriest, creepiest looking games I have ever played slash confusing. I, if you're a younger viewer, uh, and you don't like this sort of stuff, and you you know you were you know you you're watching this just to see if you would be interested in playing it yourself. Um, it depends on everybody's taste. I can say go and play it, but I can also tell you not to. Right? That's for everybody's you know opinion on it and everybody's choosing. So if you want to go ahead, I can only give you my opinion on the game. What I think about this game is, I, I like the puzzles, I like the gameplay, the only issue I had was the lack of story, which there probably is a story here, I just don't understand it to a full extent, but I like the game. For somebody that's never played like a, like a horror slash puzzle game before, where actually I played Made a Skier, but Made a Skier wasn't as bad as this, like the puzzles that Made a Skier were pretty simple. So, this was really difficult, and uh, it's definitely a horror game, you can feel it, not like Outlast levels, but it's definitely scary. In terms of gore, I think this has to be the goriest game I've ever played. This tops Outlast 2 and Outlast, but together. I felt scared in Outlast because of its horror elements, not because of its gore or anything like that. Like it's you know it's scary this this is a different type of horror maybe that's what they were going for but they also have like they also added a lot of sexual things to this game which i'm pretty sure it's symbolic to some other thing in the game like the story in general is very sexualized uh but i'm not sure i don't think it's a bad thing i think uh it's symbolic in a way that i'm, I'm honestly i'm definitely gonna look this up afterwards just to understand the story. Um, but what I might do is I might just give you a quick summary towards the end of the game. Of uh, actually, that's pretty much it. I don't think this has a second ending. I think this is it. But what I'm gonna do instead of like adding the game description, I'm just gonna add a quick summary of what the story is. So you guys can understand towards the end if you're confused. But yeah, guys, I would recommend it if you're into the whole Aliens, movies, you know, sci-fi. If you played Alien Isolation, this is very diff completely different. Um, but they're they're kind of in the similar, you know, in, in the same genre, I think. Definitely go and play it. I recommend playing this game. If you're not into puzzles, and you don't like spending a while trying to figure them out, and you like more of Outlast type of horrors, or made it scare, then definitely don't play this game because you're going to sort of be disappointed. If you're more of like the the person that's looking for a rich story, I can't say anything there besides uh, it just, just watch it on YouTube, watch the first part, and see for yourself. Because I didn't really understand the story too much. It seems like we were going to heaven towards the end or something. I, I really don't know. Or freedom. But like I said, there was a lot of sexual things in the game, like our noodles. You know, going into that weird machine. So, I... I, <laughs> I that's the one... That's, bro, that's the weirdest thing. That's the one thing that got that caught me off guard. Oh, man. That's crazy. I did see gameplay... Of this game back in 2014. And now. And it's completely different. It's a completely different game. Which is incredible. But yeah, guys. That's gonna wrap it up. Give it a try. If you're into all of this. If you're not, then you're definitely not going to like it. I like this game. It's not my personal... F it's not one of my favorites. I don't think it'll ever be, to be honest. But it was a great experience. So, you know, it's completely different. Completely different than what I usually play. So that was pretty nice, you know, to, to take a step away from the, the normal things that I play. And play something creepy. Something that uh, I don't know too much about. But yeah, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed Scorn. I do have Call of Duty videos coming up, so uh, tune in for uh, stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, Spookfest is coming to a close. 
uh, only what I think two more weeks, maybe a week or something like that, and Spookfest concludes. But this is definitely a great way to end Spookfest, actually to pass it on to another game. But um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.